Interesting. I felt that too. A brief surge of conflicting emotions, anger and grief. Did you feel what I just felt? It felt like jealousy. I felt it too. I was angry at you. There was no rational reason, but for an instant, I felt like I should be commanding the Enterprise, and you were obstructing me. I don't know why I felt like that. You don't want to know what I was feeling. What was that? I don't know. I just felt desperate, irrational. I had conflicting impulses. Part of me wanted to attack someone, anyone. The other part wanted to run away. I don't know about you, but the instant those stones were put together... I felt despondent. Like I didn't want to live anymore. That someone was out to get me and I couldn't fight them. Maybe we should leave those stones alone. Hmm. The instant those two stones came together... I remembered I had a quarrel with a friend of mine at the Academy. I was so angry. I hadn't thought about that in years. I had a similar experience. How could I have forgotten about her? Let's not do that again. I'm sorry, Captain. I just had the most horrible... I know, I think we all had that emotion. I'm glad I didn't have a phaser in my hands when you put those two stones together. Damn that, it's gone. For a moment I felt angry. Angry at myself for not moving the sheep away from that explosion. And I felt angry that I had not withdrawn from the Antares Rift. These stones definitely generate strong emotions. That was a strange experience. I suddenly thought that the Enterprise was being stolen from me. I had a similar thought, only... I wonder what Dr. McCoy is going to say when we bring back samples of these stones. I suddenly found myself doubting my ability to command the Enterprise. I had the weirdest image. I was fencing, and I kept dropping my foil. And I was... well, you wouldn't be interested. Hmm. The instant those two stones came together... I'm beginning to wonder if I'm losing my sanity. I don't know what these stones are doing to our emotions, but I don't like it. Savant, isn't there anything I can do to make you see reason? Captain, I do see reason. My intellect is many orders of magnitude beyond yours. You should trust my judgment. I... really? I see you have great power and great splendor, but I don't see great wisdom. I have taken sorrow and turned it into bliss. I have taken that which denied feelings and have shown him his true nature. Is that not wisdom? This object has no effect against me. 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 You disturb my rest. Fortunately, I am not alone in bliss. Do not use such a tactic again on me. I warn you. What is this? What am I feeling? What have you done? 
What's the matter? Life isn't all happiness and joy. It's time you experienced a reality check. No. I have spent millions of years trying to escape the anguish. Misery is the destroyer of worthy souls, Captain. And you are destroying me. I am not destroying you. Your own unwillingness to respect others is destroying you. Am I really such a monster that I deserve such pain? You have lost respect for others, Savant. Everyone may have different goals, different ideals than you, and you have the right to pursue them. You need to respect their free will, even if it makes them miserable. You do not understand me, Captain, but I am in no mood to argue. You and your scientist may be freed. Enjoy your universe, Captain Kirk. Captain's Log, we are out of the Antares Rift and are on our way to Starbase 8, where the Enterprise has extensive repairs scheduled. All crew members, including First Officer Spock, are safely aboard. So, Spock, you mean you had an eternity of pure enjoyment and you gave it up? Affirmative, Doctor. That has to be the most illogical thing I've ever heard. Humans spend their entire lifetime dreaming of an eternity of pleasure. As do animals in the field. Perhaps humans are meant to be better than that. Perhaps we should dream of greatness and not simple gratification. Greatness is a term subject to individual interpretation, Captain. The savant viewed the pursuit of greatness as useless because all great deeds and accomplishments are destined to be forgotten in cosmic terms. A cosmic being thinks in cosmic terms, Spock. But somehow that philosophy overlooks a lot of life's little pleasures. There's just one thing that bothers me about the whole thing. Really, Doctor? Spock finally got to enjoy himself, and I wasn't there to see it. Now that's something worth remembering. Message from Starfleet Command. On screen. I reviewed your report from your recent assignment, Captain, and have a few comments. I am very pleased with your performance. It was a perfect mission, Jim. Your reputation as Starfleet's best starship captain is secure. Kane out.